Hey what's up guys welcome back this is me that Shetty here and today I will be reviewing the Cyanogen Mod 13 on the HTC One M8 so let's get started so as you can see I have flashed the G apps or the Google apps you might say and I'm just using it as my default launcher so here as, as you can see the dialer option has changed as you can swipe around with your logs as well as the contacts and your favorites as well the dial, dial pad has changed you have now voice search input and here you have some import contacts and etc one thing about the marshmallow update is that you can now block caller ID and the phone numbers which you don't want and here you have the Cyanogen browser the Cyanogen messaging app and here you have the Cyanogen camera so one thing I like about this camera is that you have some manual settings such as resolution and quality you can change the back camera resolution you can also enable manual exposure power shutter and bright screen as well you can also change the location of your uh, folder in which you can save it onto your external SD card in normal Cyanogen mod 12.1 you could do that but in the uh, Google Play Edition firmware you could not do that it automatically stores onto your internal storage the next thing you get some basic apps such as audio effects camera file manager gallery and theme store screencast and etc and the next good thing about the best thing about the Cyanogen mod 13 is that you can directly edit all of your quick toggle settings so if I don't want any of these settings I can just select edit tiles and I'll just rearrange any of those which I don't want or I just want so if I don't want device uh, I mean location I'll just delete, delete it and if I want to add some NFC here you might say and as you can see the NFC is being added here so I can just select whenever I want NFC and that's it you're done with that so other thing is that you get some official themes which will automatically direct you to the play store and here you have some notification and as you know the marshmallow has the same features such as moto assist had you can just select select silent hours and it, the phone will automatically turn off all of the notifications in those specific hours the other option you have the buttons you can edit and rearrange the forward back and preview as well as the home button here you have the security option in which I think Sanjin will give you some security updates overall here you have the battery in which you can optimize the battery usage as you can see battery mode is currently in balanced I can select power save and it will automatically turn into power save mode and it will save battery a lot and the next thing is the accessibility you can select large text display color inversion and some other stuff here you have the status bar again you can select the clock size if you want the clock in the center right left or hidden the battery status style and etc quick pull down is other option which is a plus point if you are if you have a huge display and if you if you are too lazy to pull up you can just pull it down and the notification drawer will automatically pull down and that's it guys if you want to see more video and if you want to see a review of any other firmware please let me know in the comments below thanks for watching my video guys this is me that shetty signing off